Well, hello, YouTubers. I've, uh, <laughs> I'll give you a look around a little bit later, but what you're looking at here is the compressor that I took out, cut all the lines, and it's time to knock its head off. Nothing fancy inside the head. Uh, one interesting thing, if you look on the shaft, look right there it says Delco and if you look on the side right here it um, says General Motors on it kind of interesting I have no idea how old this is these two ports right here are your uh, suction lines and this little line here that I cut loose used to connect to here and come out that was your liquid line. Hold on. Don't want metal parts floating down in there. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. That's a mineral oil right there. As you can hear, it's sloshing it around pretty good. I'll tear it apart later on so you can see that, but I figured I'd give that a run. This is one of the first ones I've had that that's uh, open and you know still actually works. I'm going to go ahead and commence disassembly. Sorry, you're getting disassembled. Oops. We got a couple of pipes. No washers. More metal to go in the scrap bin. I see what has to happen. Not out of the woods, Joseph. Whoops, that one is. And then hopefully this one will let me. That guy's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Interesting little setup. Looks to be a pretty well built man unit. Probably only my third compressor was torn apart. I should be using a 3 8 scratch for the record. Hopefully, it's not crucial. Okay, that piece is coming loose. Sorry about the lighting, folks. It's pretty much night time. Hmm. This one was very well made. It's got a uh, copper bushing in it. It's got a little bit of wear to it. Wow. Anyway, that's a little crank. Okay, that little connecting rod right there. Yeah. Looks like it's all one part of this. I'm trying to keep this so I can 
run the motor again. If I can't, then uh, I guess I can't. Ran out of memory and ran out of battery. But uh, just right where I left off, I unbolted this head and uh, I'll see if I can knock it off the compressor here. I got all the bolts out of it, so it should just come right off. There we go. See the little uh, reed valve right under, right under this plate here, and if I'm not mistaken, that's where I take that motor around. I can't even see the piston there. But it looks like this plate comes off too, and it does. Here's a little uh, reed valve. And there's the, uh, I guess the cylinder pre-head, if you want to call it that. Just kind of mounts right there with the, uh, with the reed valve on the other side. Kind of, uh, kind of lays. Just like this. Now, and, uh, that's the other end of the head. And I assume this chamber here also comes loose. And that's all it is, is a chamber. It draws in through these two holes here, which had uh, pipes on them. Up through here, into this one chamber. In past the reed valve, opens it, the piston draws it in, and then pushes it out these two here and I'm going to go ahead and remove these but these are uh, nothing more than really big chambers it is moving pretty quick I'm sure that gives you the idea, or a running idea. I do have to admit, though, that this is a uh, really solidly made compressor. Uh, looks like there's a bronze bushing down in there on the connecting rod, which. Uh, Seems to be one part of this unit. I'm going to go ahead and take those two bolts off. But if you flip this big thing over, and you look right there, GM Delco. And there's some of the part numbers. 110 volts, 60 cycles. B4953300 There's a number on there, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this off of here. Uh, really isn't much more that I can do with it. Well, there you have it, folks. That's uh, one heavy-ass compressor unit. Very solidly made. It's got a bushing in here. And it had one that went on the end, if you remember from the uh, previous uh, parts of this video. And that's where the output lines came off on here. And you can see the ports that go straight through and come out there. And uh, that one over there kind of looks like a reserve port, maybe. 
got two holes there. One and two. It's kind of interesting to see inside these. Uh, those are the coils there. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to hook them up and cook them or what I should do with them. But either way, this is going to get recycled. The uh, windings are going to get pulled out of there. It's going to go in the copper pile here, aluminum pile here. Uh, still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that motor. And I got a blender here to dissect. Uh, high pressure sodium igniter. Uh, photo cell steel pile which is quite heavy but uh, time to move onward <laughs>